All right, so can you guys see my screen now? Hello, yes, is my visible? Is my yes, screen sir. visible now? Okay, great. So the first thing that we'll do is, of course, we'll you know go over with the uh, home page. Before that, let me just introduce myself first. So you can check the instructor's profile. So this is me when I graduated at UC. So we have uh, 2018. So this is my complete name. My name is Dan Melbal S. Saavedra. So you can call me Sir Dan, Sir Mel, Sir Paul, Sir Saavedra, or whatever you want, you can call me, okay? So uh, yeah, not that much. So here is my email, just in case that you need to message me outside the canvas. So you can message me here at my Outlook email. And then this is the telephone or landline number of the say office, just in case you need to contact the say office. And then here is my contact number. Okay, just in case that uh, something happened uh, in you, like for example, I mean, not to you, let's say to your Wi-Fi or to your uh, area right now in terms of C blackout. So you can message me and say, uh, sir, I won't be able to take the exam or quiz since uh, there is no Wi-Fi or there is no electricity in our air right now. So, you know, those kind of uh, emergency uh, situations, okay? So the office hours of the say office is, of course, uh, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. But in most cases, this one is not actually 9. This one would be 7 or 6, okay? So that's uh, the average uh, closing time, say, office from Monday to Saturday, 8 to 6 p.m., okay? So this is my name, okay, and yeah, not that much. Again, I graduated at here at UC also, and then here is my educational uh, attainment. So yeah, it's I'm computer engineering as you guys can see, it's BSc. And then here are my areas of interest. So uh, before when I was still in college, well, I'm into web developing, but sudden shifted into Android developing when we had our thesis. And then nowadays, just right after I graduated at you know college in college so i'm now interested into robotics internet of things and then machine learning. okay so yeah those are just things that uh you will see under instructor's portal perhaps you might uh, want to ask something about your instructor to me this is now your chance to ask it why has a question about me, or you want to ask about me, how you instructor? By the way, am I audible? Can you guys hear me clearly? Yes, sir. Don't be shy to answer. You know, you can give me a quick thumbs up, you can use our chat box, you can use your mic. Well, I prefer the mic since it's the fastest way. Uh, yes, sir, you're audible. Okay, thank you so much. Because no one's responding. Again, do you guys have a question? So this is your last chance to ask about your instructor. Your first and last chance. If none, then I guess we can now move on to the next one. All right, so let's go over with the homepage first. So I hope you guys have already read some of the, uh, you know, uh, information right here on the home page. So as you guys can see, this is your section. This is the schedule of our class, 3.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Wednesday, Thursday. And then here is the course code of this subject. And then this is the course description, okay, computer fundamentals and programming. So here is a, you know, a short welcoming page. Let's read about this one. And then here's a uh, short information about instructor about me. And then, of course, the course format of this course will be delivered into two. So the first one is ODL, which will be most likely to have, or we're going to have as our learning method. And then the other one is limited face-to-face. -face. Okay, so we're also going to have a limited face-to-face -face approach in this subject. So expect that you guys will also go here at QC, but not every week or not every other week. So we'll talk more about this one later on. Okay, it is limited face to face on when you are going to go here at UC to have a limited face to face. All right. So I hope you're clear with this one. So you can also check here the course syllabus. So out of those two here, 
chord is one, so those two are just the same, so it will lead you to the same uh, side. So we'll go, I mean, not just two, okay, sorry for that. We actually have three. So we have the syllabus link right here. You can also click this one, and it will also lead you to our syllabus page. Okay, not just two. All right, so for the course of review of words, this course provides hands-on experience operating the personal computer and working with Microsoft Windows and its available apps. Microsoft Office or Open Office, particularly word processing and spreadsheet with emphasis on engineering applications and computer program development. So I would like you guys to take note of this one. It says here that you can use Microsoft Office or my uh, Open Office, but I highly recommend to use only one Okay, do not mix those two. As much as possible, use Microsoft Office. Okay, if you don't have Microsoft Office, you only have Open Office. I still recommend you guys is, uh, download and install the Microsoft Office. Okay, because practicing using an Open Office is not uh, a good thing nowadays. Because in most cases, let's say ninety percent to ninety five percent, most of us are using Microsoft Office, not Open Office. Okay. So in school, in industry, everywhere, uh, it's Microsoft Office, not Open Office. Okay. So I hope very clear for this one. And then uh, this part right here and computer program development. So basically, Microsoft Office will be used for midterms, and then computer program development will be our finance. Okay, so here is the course learning, of course, learning outcomes of this subject. So at the end of this subject, you will be able to discuss the basic concept in information and communications technology, its importance, applications in engineering practice, issues and trends in the internet. So it's number one. Second is you will be able to discuss the features of great process and spreadsheet using Microsoft Office. Again, do not use Open Office okay, as your productivity tools. And acquire proficiency in algorithm development using a higher level programming language, which is visual, uh, basic, baby language. And then the last one, you'll be able to design a user interface, code debug, and modify baby programs using various repetitive operations, controls, looping structures, and arrays. Okay. So to summarize everything, number one and two is for the terms, and three and four is for the finance. One and two is for the Microsoft services, and then three and four is for the programming. So are we clear so far for the course learning outcome of this subject? Are we clear? Are you guys able to follow? Am I too fast? I guess it would be better if you guys will open your camera so that even though you're not, you know, you're not answering, I can see your expressions like, uh, if maybe you are not saying, then maybe uh, you're not, you were able to follow what I'm trying to say. Okay, thank you, Mr. Uh, Lawang and Jean Rangel. I really appreciate it. What about the others? I highly recommend you guys to uh, open your cameras. So don't you guys worry. Uh, this is the only time that uh, I, I will require you guys to open your camera. Our first meeting only the rest. You can close your uh, camera for the entire turn. I just want to see your faces, okay? So even though you guys are not CPEs, you guys are civil engineers, or are you guys civil engineers? Or wait a second. Yeah, this one is for civil uh, engineering section, CE13B. So all of you here are civil engineers, okay? So basically, you guys will meet each other in other uh, major civil engineer subjects. Only one, Bob, open. Andy ko lang makita. Sadly, I, I only have one monitor right now. Supposedly, I'll be, uh, supposedly I will have uh, two monitor, but since I'm here at UZ right now, I only have my laptop. So can I, you know, look at your faces and then, can you guys see this one? This, uh, Phases of yours on my screen. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right now, or you are only seeing the canvas? Canvas, sir. Uh, uh, canvas, just only, the canvas, sir. canvas only, right? So it's really not visible, even though I expanded this one. Anyway, so there's 
uh, Roxanne, uh, nice meet you, Mr. Batalina, Ivia, nice meet you too. Miss Riano Maria Rally Monique. Wow, you have a beautiful name, Maria Rally Monique. And Miras Desiri Ad. Okay, well, nice meet you. And then Mr. Al Jadi, Al Jaidi, Mohammed. Good afternoon to you. And who well, else? I didn't press any call. Ah, Mr. Hambon. Hambon Edric. Okay. Are you also a foreigner, Mr. Hambon? What is that? Uh, I, wait, wait a second. Let me just uh, maximize my volume. So come again. Could you please one uh, speak one more time? Are you a foreigner? Ah, uh, you're not a foreigner. I thought you are also a foreigner. So we only have one foreigner. What about the others? Mr. Amistad. I don't know if this one is a foreigner, but as I'm seeing right now, there is only one foreigner under this list. Okay. Anyway, so I, I think I won't be able to see the faces of your other classmates anymore. So this is the first and last. All right, so thank you so much for those. Ah, Mr. Sean, Sapan. So this is the Thank you, thank you. All right, anyway, let's go back now to the uh, so that is for the course learning outcomes. So here are the available ebooks that you can download and check through this uh, course. So we only have five ebooks. So the first four is for the midterms, okay, for the Microsoft offices and then the basics of computer and then some digital security. Okay, and then we have one ebook only for your finals, which is the computer fundamentals and programming. So this is a guide on how to use the visual Studio 2019. So how many slides? This one, this one is 91 slides. Okay, I hope uh, you will check this one and then you know learn at least the basics. Not expecting you guys to finish this one uh, for this uh, term. So uh, this one discusses uh, a lot. I just need you guys to you know at least learn the basics and then how to navigate using a visual basic 2019. Okay. And I you can also check this one out later. So I will not be showing the uh, ebook one, two, three, and four. And then we have some etiquette guides for online courses. So I would say that this is the common sense already. There's no need for me to show this one. So just you can check this one out if you want. But yeah, you guys are already uh, old enough to know what are the uh, the the okay thing or the good thing that you can. Uh, or the things that you're allowed to do, rather, okay? And then the bad things or the things that you are not allowed to do, okay, under uh, a certain class, okay? And then if you are new here at UC and then this is your first time using a UC virtual learning space, like this one, the canvas, so you can check this video right here. So this is just a short work, uh, short walkthrough. Uh, but will show you. This is a 22 minute video which discusses how to use the canvas in you know full potential. Like maybe you are using the canvas by 20 to 50 percent only. So if you can maximize the feature, then uh, that would be a lot better. So with that, I highly recommend you guys to watch this one completely, watch this video and finish this video. Okay. Now that is it for the homepage, I guess. So are we clear so far before we move on to the uh, most important part of the subject, which is the syllabus? Questions or clarifications? So I guess none. Then I guess we're gonna move on to the syllabus. Now, under syllabus, you will see here, of course, the course, uh, the course code, the course description, and then this one is offering this same three trimesters, school year 2021, 2022. And then here is my name, my contact details again at PC office, my email, and then here is our schedule, okay, by ODL and then our access delivery. And one more thing that you guys need to know, this is the two unit laboratory. Okay, in most cases, we only have you know, one unit as the 
uh, for the laboratory. But this one, we have two units. Oh, my apologies. Let me just edit this one real, real quick. This one should be eight hours because we're going to meet twice per week, Wednesday and Thursday, and then that is 3, 3, 3, 7, 3, so four hours, four hours, a total of eight hours per day. So in most cases, this one is one unit and then four hours only per week. But this one, we have a plenty of time. So it's like having two courses in one subject. Okay. You guys know what I'm trying to say. So meaning you're going to have a lot of activities under this subject. So expect to have not just a one, two, three laboratory, but you're going to have a total of eight laboratories under this subject. And then each module, okay, let's see, module one, you're going to have one quiz. Okay, so let's see, we have a total of how many? Maybe six plus three, nine. So you're going to have at least nine quizzes for the entire subject or for the entire uh, classes. Okay, so there is no prerequisites in this is, uh, for first year. And then we have here the course description, which is similar really what we have in, in our homepage. And then we have the course during the outcomes, which is again similar with what we have in our homepage. And then here is the most important part. So this is what you guys should be checking. Okay, so week one and two will be, is this updated? Wait a second. Okay, hold on. I wasn't able to, I think I wasn't able to update this one. Week five and six will be this one. Ah, yeah, this one is updated. So week one and two, we have this introduction to computer uh, system. But what I did, I guess, so that is why I think this one is not a bit because I forgot to remove this uh, two right here. Anyway, under week one, you're going to have one module only, which is this one. And then week two, you're going to have another module. So basically this uh, week one and two uh, is composed of uh, two modules, okay? So let me just show to you guys the big one. So module one, which is inside computers and mobile devices. And then module two is input and output. Okay, so that is why this one is incorrect. So I'll just update this one later on, but basically week one is one module and then week two is another module, okay? And then week three and four. So let me just see if they are same. Week three and four is real safety and security. So they are not really uh, the same. So I will just update this one later on. But yeah, basically we have, so never mind that syllabus for now since that one is quite messy. Okay, so we'll base on what you guys are seeing under uh, the module. So for now, of course, they are uh, locked in your case because I've locked them and then they will be only available at specific uh, date. Okay, like for example, week 34 will be available on uh, May 18. So yeah, anyway, these are the uh, topics we're going to have under this uh, subject, okay. which is quite messy. Really, I'm so sorry for that. And yeah, so basically week one to six is for midterms and then week seven to 12 is for finals. Okay. And then here is the available, again, another available table, which is similar with what we have in homepage. And then uh, we have your basis of evaluation. So of course, we're going to rate you based on your uh, answer discussions, your quizzes, your assignments, and then examinations. Okay, so do not miss one of those. Okay, that is one key for you to have a passing rate under this subject. And of course, very important, successful completion of all requirements of the course. Again, especially the major requirements. I would say that uh, it's okay if you will miss some, okay, one or two laboratories that not both of it. And then you must uh, finish everything, okay, in especially quizzes, because if you will miss one or two, that might affect your, uh, you know, your overall grade, which might lead to a failing grade. Okay. So it would be better if you will, uh, you know, take your chance in every activity. And then the standard grading system of the university shall be used, which is this one, so midterm score. We have 50 percent class standing plus 50 percent midterm exam. And then for your tentative final score, we have, what well, they are actually the same, 50 percent class standing and then 50 percent uh, final exam. And then here's how we're computing your uh, final grade or your final score. So one third of your midterm score, whatever is that score of yours, will get one third of that. And then two thirds of your tentative final score, so whatever is your 
computed and the final score will get the two thirds of it and then add those two and then have that one as your final score. Now, here's one very important thing. In UC, we don't, uh, you know, we don't uh, equate 50% as equal to 75. So the passing score here at UC is 60% for you to have a grade of 75. So that is one thing that you guys need to, you know, take note, okay? So yeah, that is all for the uh, syllabus. So I will update this one later. This is one is quite nice. Sorry for that. So any questions so far under the syllabus and then the grading system and then basis of evolution? If none, uh, just give me a quick thumbs up. Just let me know that you were able to follow everything. Mr. Dukuzin, uh, Irony John, how are you related? Yeah, how are you uh, related to Jezrael? Jezrael, Jezrael, Jezrael Dukuzin. Do you know him? Sir, uh, Or do you have an older brother who graduated as a civil also here at UC? Sir, pangare po. Hmm. So maybe that's just the same uh, last. Okay. Anyway, because I have a a uh, classmate before when I was seven year college, I guess. And then, yeah, he's really a good guy. I can still remember uh, his name. Be back in 16, I guess. Anyway, so that is it for the uh, syllabus. So once we're done with the syllabus, I guess we can now proceed to the modules. But before that, let's just go quick with the student's orientation. So in here, just in case that you have a question regarding the Canvas or how to use the Canvas, you can always go to student's orientation on the use of digital classroom. So you see here, what is this one? What is UC digital classroom? What is inside this UC digital classroom? And then the student FAQs is in case that you have a question in mind on how to do that one using a Canvas. So you can always go here and then check this FAQs. Your question might be already answered under this student's orientation. Yeah, they actually have quite a lot. So mostly these are the questions of our students before when this is their first time using the Canvas, okay? And then just in case that you cannot really solve your issue or problem in your Canvas, so you can always message or email our MIS team the ID to itss.uc-bcf.edu.ph. So yeah, that's it for the student's orientation. And uh, another important part is, of course, the modules. Okay, So in here, you will see everything, you know, quizzes, assignments, laboratories. So every uh, presentation, uh, PDFs, PowerPoints, everything is in here. So this is where you should always go if you want to see uh, what could be your, you know, what could be our next topic. When are we going to meet? When is your final exam? Where to join the link meeting for our uh, synchronous session? And then how to you know uh, have a consultation to your instructor. So you will see here my available schedule. Okay, so I have here Monday 11 to 7 p.m. You can always message me via Canvas or via Facebook. Okay, if you have questions, so just message me within this time. And Tuesday, I'm fully loaded during Tuesday. So you, uh, I won't be able to cater you guys on Tuesdays. Okay, so Wednesday it's also quite hectic. So my only available schedule is 1 3 to 3 30. Thursday it's the same 1 3 to 3 30. And then Friday, 7 30 to 3 30. So in here we don't have Saturdays because in I'm also fully loaded during Saturday. I mean, yeah, during uh, Saturday because it's my uh, time to attend my uh, master's. And then, yeah, same with Sunday, of course, uh, especially Sunday. Sunday is family day, so hopefully uh, no worries or no question during Sundays. Okay? That is to uh, give way to, you know, to relax, to uh, rest for a day before, you know, uh, having a, a long fight again for this entire week or for the uh, next week. Okay, Monday to Saturday is a, like a fighting day. Okay, and then Sunday is like a super resty energy. Okay. 
anyway, so yeah, that is is that is it for the LB0. Did I or was I able to mention everything? So what we are doing right now is the course information ready. Okay, so let me just delete this one because this is our previous Zoom meeting for the pre-recorded video for uh, module one. So basically what we are doing right now is already course orientation or course information or the course again. Okay. So uh, all of our meetings will be recorded. So this one for today, this is about course, I mean, yeah, course introduction. So you will see here the pre-recorded video later on okay, under this course information view or the course screen. Okay. And then your exam. So this is also one important thing that you guys need to uh, take note. So your midterm exam will be on June 16, 2022 at exactly 3.30 p.m. So it's 3.30 to 7.30. And then final exam is August 3. So of course, it's also 3.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Okay. Next one is the academic honor pledge. So this is just to make sure that all of your works are being done by you. Okay, so this answer is one, this is just a survey and then pledging, or to say, you know, just uh, saying that all of your work is really great. Okay, just answer this one. You have, you pledge that your work, this course will be your own, your own work. You pledge not to allow others to copy or present your work to the others. Uh, you pledge not to commit any acts of plagiarism. You pledge to oppose every instance of academic in, uh, dishonesty. You pledge not to lie, not to cheat, not to steal, not to gain academic advantage. You pledge to cite and reference any work obtained from sources. Okay. And then you understand that any act of academic dishonesty is a direct violation of the student code and will have consequences. Okay, so just fill this one out and then agree with everything, click understand and then submit. Okay, this is your way of, you know, promising that everything that you will submit or you will do under this course is really done by you. Okay, and then getting to know you better, so I already mentioned this one in my announcement. So I hope all of you will submit your uh, one minute video, just to state your name, where you're from, and what are the gadgets that you're using, and then what is the current connectivity that you have is it 3G, 4G, LTE, 5G. And then what is your expectation to this course and to me as your instructor? And then if you want to see more, then of course, you can always include that one to others. Okay, as of now, there's only two who submitted uh, their introductory video. So I forgot to put the due date. That is why I guess one is submitting until now. So I will accept your video until May 25 only. So this is also to give chance to those who might uh, enroll late this uh, subject. Okay, because enrollment is until uh, May 14th. So who knows, there might be uh, a new one who will be added under this class. Okay, so that is it for the week zero. And then we know only have one minute and 28 seconds left. So we don't have enough time anymore. So we're going to have a part two. Okay, so you can just uh, uh, join with the Steam link. So I'll just stop this one here for now. And then we'll discuss week one and week two later on. Okay, so goodbye for now and see you guys later. Okay. Goodbye. I will end our meeting now and then just join with the same link.